What is good, everybody on YouTube? It is your boy Force Ripperton back at it again with another video. Get the, get the, get the. What's popping, everybody? How y'all doing today? Today, I decided to make a video on a day in the life with Force Ripperton. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have this like amazing, like crazy, you know what I'm saying, life where I'm just out doing a bunch of stuff. I'm a homebody at heart, y'all. I don't really do nothing. I normally just be in the house all the time, all day. But I do have some, like, like one or two, like, daily things that I do most of the time. Um, not every day, but most of the time. So I decided, you know what I'm saying, to just bring y'all along on that type of journey today. Um, so, yeah, the first thing that I do, I'm going to actually vlog. I'm just going to tell y'all what the first thing I'm about to do and y'all going to come along with me. So first thing I do, wake up, brush my teeth, all that there, take a shower, all that there, whatever I got to do, eat breakfast sometimes. I don't always eat breakfast, you know what I'm saying? I know it's the most important meal of the day, serving it up, Gary's weight. Hey, I know that that's, you know what I'm saying, you're supposed to eat breakfast, but I don't normally eat breakfast all the time, but... Yeah, do all that there. And then I check my uh, Depop and email and shit like that to see if anybody has bought anything from the shop. You guys know I have my own little thrift store and shit like that. Um, I'm going to be doing like, I'm getting a lot of pieces in from different places and shit like that. So I can do like a pop up or something like that because I really do want to do like a pop up with my shop. So stay tuned to that. I normally check my Depop and my email to see if anybody has copped anything. So somebody copped something yesterday and... Yeah, so that's what we're about to do. I'm going to show y'all the piece that they cop, and we're going to dip out of here. Uh, so if you guys remember the video where I showed y'all how to sew, well, I didn't really show y'all how to sew, but I showed y'all me sewing. I was sewing this jacket right here, and somebody literally just copped this joint um, yesterday or Sunday. It was one of them days, so I was like, I'm going to wait till I record a video so I can show them like the process of how everything works. So, so this is the jacket that they bought for me, so we're going to have to go take this to the post office and ship this out you dig what i'm saying and normally i go to after i uh find something that somebody had bought i go to staples to print out the shipping label because i don't have a printer and shit in here but this is actually going to belgium so somebody has bought something from belgium so we are shipping it out to belgium so we can go straight to the post office so let's go to the post office and y'all i don't know if y'all know already but i do got a car now um, my mother got my car clean. That thing looking jive like clean. <laughs> looking clean, y'all. Look at the, look at that. That shit looking clean. I don't know if y'all can tell, but that joint looking clean, y'all. But yeah, my mother got my car clean yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Moving on up in the world. You know what I'm saying? Remember, I have to take the bus all the time. And Ubers and all that shit. Got my own car now, y'all. Ooh, it's hot as shit is, bitch. And yeah, also I forgot to remind y'all, when y'all get up in the morning, make sure y'all drink like at least a glass of water or a bottle of water, something like that, because you sleep for so long. You need to hydrate your body. You dehydrated for all them hours. And yeah, I'm about to die right now. I need to turn this on. Come on, sheesh. And every time my mother drive my car, brother, she, like the steering wheel, she make the steering wheel go low as shit. Like, bro, put this shit back up. Like, every time. Oh, yeah, so we on our way to the post office, you know what I'm saying? I tried to get y'all, like, a little different little angle, you know what I'm saying? Because I got this little thing on my phone, on my uh, car, on the little vents that hold my phone up. And it won't let my phone go sideways like this. So, I just wanted to see how it was going to look like this. If I gave y'all, like, two screens, would this bother y'all or not? But, yeah, we're on our way to the post office. But, yeah, like I was saying, I got a car now, I feel... I feel like though. I feel like though. I get to really like go where I want to. Hold on, let me figure this. I get to really like go and move whenever I want to. You know what I'm saying? All that there. Um. It, oh, see, phone just fucking fell. It's dangerous, y'all. Look at this. That's supposed to be able to hold my shit. Hold on, y'all. Having technical difficulties right now. There you go. That should be straight now. But like I was saying, yeah, I get to go wherever I want to for real, for real now. I don't gotta wait on no bus. I don't gotta wait on no Uber, none of that. So it feel good. I get to do all my errands and stuff like this. Like when I go to the post office, I don't gotta ask my mother for her car. I don't gotta go on a bus. I don't gotta walk in this heat. Like this has definitely been a 
blessing. Been able to save up my money and finally buy a car and all that there. So, yes. We moving on up in the world, ladies and gentlemen. It is hot as hell out here though. And normally I got music playing in the car right now, but I got y'all on the phone. So, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 y'all are more important than me listening to music. And it's probably real windy in here. So, I'm gonna see y'all when I get to the post office because it's gonna get real windy in here. Y'all not really gonna be able to see me. And I wanna turn my AC on and the AC gonna blow and all y'all gonna hear is So I'll see y'all when we get to the uh, post office. Oh yeah, so we at the post office right now. Lock the door. Damn, that thing ain't looking pretty. Every time I get out my car, y'all, I always look at it again just to be like, you know what I'm saying? Just to look at her. See how good she look. I don't know if this is the paper. Every time I'm shipping out the country, I'll remember if this is the right paper or not. Every time I go to ship something out the country, bro, I never remember which ones I'm supposed to do. Oh, yeah, so this is the right paper. I gotta fill it all out. Cause when you ship stuff out the country, you gotta do a whole different little slip for like the insurance and all types of stuff. Sender's information for last name. Two hours later. Ah, right, yeah. So I'm out the post office. Whenever I'm shipping stuff like out of the country, it always be like difficult because. I gotta make sure I'm not getting taxed on the shipping. So when I'm shipping out of the country for anybody who watching my um, YouTube, if you are out the country and then you ever buy something from me, shipping normally is like 40 to $50. Whenever I'm shipping shit, it's normally 40 to $50. And damn, it's hot as shit in here. But it's 40 to $50 whenever I ship out of the country usually. But like at first I was about to use the little priority boxes, but she said if I would have used that, that shit would have been like $76. So I had to put it in a different package. Like I ha kept having to make sure everything is right because it getting shipped out of the country, bro. I want to make sure everything is right and don't nothing go wrong. I need to make sure the package get to my customer. So yeah, I was just in there for almost a good 30, 35 minutes making sure everything was right and I didn't have to pay that $76. So that's why if you ever try to buy anything and you're out of the country, that's why the shipping is normally high like that because it's not cheap shipping outside the country. So it's way more cheaper shipping in the country. So um, I just wanted to give y'all a heads up for if y'all ever see the shipping uh, internationally being that much. It's for a reason because the shit is not cheap. So yeah, finally got that shipped out, made sure everything was good. And that's normally what I do first when I get up out the bed and shit like that. And then next thing I do, since I'm already out, I normally go to the thrift store. So we can go to the thrift store real fast. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the thrift store. It's a day in the life of Forrest Ripperton. So let's go to the thrift store. Oh right, y'all, so finally made it to the thrift store. This joint is like an hour away from my house. Um, hold on, why does it look all blurry and shit? But yeah, this is the thrift store right here. It's called Village Thrift Store. Hold on, I gotta put my mask on, y'all. I'll be forgetting to do that, no cap. This entrance is closed. Go to this one. I haven't, I've actually been in this one before. I've been in this thrift store before. See if you can find like a bandana or something. I don't know, bruh. Let me go ahead. Um, like I said, I've actually been in this thrift store before, but yeah, this is normally what I do. I find a thrift store that I want to go to, and then I come to the thrift. So we kind of just turned this into just like a, a thrift. I told you you're going to find one. My nephew forgot his fucking bad dad. I mean, his... um. He forgot his mask in the house. He always forget his mask in the house, but he be tweaking. I normally just look up a thrift store that I'm gonna come to, and I just come to the thrifty thrift and see what I can find in this bit. You dig what I'm saying? I might have to put my glasses on because I can't really see. Ugh, there we go. There we go, I can see better now. All right, so I found one little shirt right here, this Team Luigi shirt. 
cool little shirt it ain't nothing crazy but i just like the way it looked for some reason and then i found this shirt right here this grave digger um this grave digger shirt with the monster truck on it it ain't nothing on the back but it look cool y'all already know how we get down in the thrift i just come in here and try to find some shit and like i said you never know what you can find in here you don't always win you know what i'm saying you don't always you know what i'm saying find good shit and sometimes you got to put stuff in the cart and then right when you about to like, get ready to buy you just sort through it and be like do i really want this do i really want this so that's what i really do i just grab a bunch of shit that i like first like first looking at it i like and then when i'm ready to like buy and i'm done looking through everything i'll be like all right do i really want this do i really want this and yeah it's like oc hot in here y'all like this mask ain't making it no better I'm sweating like shit but Try to speed up this process, but I gotta find something nice, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, so I looked through a uh, bunch of shit in here. One is hot as hell, two, I'm hungry. Three, they don't even really have shit in this joint. But yeah, like I told y'all, that comes with thrifting. And normally I go to like one or two or three um, thrift stores, but I'm a, I only wanted to just do one today just to show y'all like the regular day in the life. But yeah, you win some, you lose some. So like I said, I got, I found like this little shirt right here. This joint look a little bit cool. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. Um, I showed y'all this little like grave digger shirt. Probably don't get that. And then I found this Team Luigi shirt. What else did I find? <sighs> I like getting like little bags and shit like this. So I found like this little bag. I probably definitely do get this. And then I found like these little like whatever y'all want to call it, like tree pants, camouflage looking pants. I'm probably going to get these. I like the way these look, but yeah, that's pretty much all I found in this joint. But yeah, like I said, you win some, you lose some. You don't always find shit in the thrift. That's just the chance you take when you come in this joint, so. <sighs> oh shit. But yeah, y'all, get these dumbass glasses off. I hate wearing my glasses. Ooh, and it's hot. But yeah, y'all. That's normally what I do. That shit was loud. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. That's normally what I do in a day. Like, like I said, I normally go to more than one thrift store. But right now, I'm not. I'm just not in the mood to go to another thrift store. I'm ready to take my ass home, go eat, and all that other shit. But yeah, normally, go to the post office, and then go to a bunch of thrift stores, take my ass in the house, and since I don't. Got a TV in my room from Jamil and the game system and shit like that. I be playing the game. And yeah, that's pretty much all I do in a day. Like, I really don't do shit. I told y'all my life is kind of like bland a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty much all I do. So yeah, thanks for coming along with me, guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Um, yeah, does my life look exciting or, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. It's your boy, Forrest Ripperton. And we... Ah, uh, out. Eat it.